Hi, I'm Kat Bennett. And I'm David Vigiano. And, and this is Under, Under the, the Rock. Rock. Que tal? What? Que tal? It means what's up in Spanish. Oh, yeah. Wait, why are you talking Spanish? I'm just really excited for Spanish Club. Spanish Club? I didn't even know we had one. We sure do. Check out this video that Lizzie Burgoyne made about it. This week I met with Senora Plesha and Janine Downing to ask them what was going on within the Spanish Club. Spanish Club is for different students to get together and learn a little bit about Spanish culture through some of the activities that we do. But mostly it's just for the students that are learning Spanish to get together outside of the classroom. Hi, my name is Janine Downing. I am the secretary of the Spanish Club. I have to organize who comes to the meetings and see who checks in when we take attendance at the meetings. There really isn't a requirement other than you participate. I've had kids in the club that don't even study Spanish but are interested in what we do, so they've been part of it too. So I don't make it that you have to be in Spanish because then I feel like we're, we're eliminating people that maybe could really help and be a big part of it. Um, we're just thinking of fundraisers to do because the main point of the Spanish club is we sponsor two kids from Spanish-speaking countries and to help them out because they're less fortunate than we are. We give them money to buy clothes and school supplies. Our closest event is on Valentine's Day, the rose sale. You can order roses and or besitos, which are chocolate kisses, and then those are delivered on, on Valentine's Day. This year we're very lucky because Valentine's Day falls on a school day, so we're anticipating a big order. It's a lot of fun. It's a good group of people to be with. This year, the Spanish Club is made up of mostly seniors, so Ms. Plesha and all members of the Spanish Club are encouraging anyone who's interested to stop by the club fair next year to sign up. Wow, Spanish Club looks really cool. I'll have to check it out sometime. Yeah, and don't forget to buy a rose from them for before Valentine's Day. The sale starts a week before Valentine's Day and ends on February 13th. Roses will be distributed the next day. Did you know that online school is an option for Glenrock students? Really? That's so neat. I'm not sure how it works though. Well, let's watch this video that Jamie Russo made to find out more about it. For some students in Glenrock, this is their classroom. Instead of walking through the doors of Glenrock High School every morning, they simply open their computer and log in. Online school has only been an available option at Glenrock for the last few years. It is used as an alternative for students unable to be involved in the class. Glenrock High School uses a platform called Educere, an online classroom offering more than 5,000 virtual courses. Classes range from basic math and science to 3D animation and screenwriting. Some classes are self-paced, while others have set due dates for assignments. I love the self-paced classes, said Glenrock student, currently on home instruction. It allows me to complete my schoolwork on my own time frame. So that's what it is. It is so interesting to hear about the number of opportunities Glenrock has to offer. Even students who do do online school should come to the Cubits Cafe on February 14th. Glenrock High School is always hiring new young teachers. Wait, isn't this Miss Yancey's first year? Yes, I don't have her, but let's watch this video Liz McCarthy made so that we can learn more about her. Miss right? Yancey is one of the newest additions to the Glenrock High School staff. Even though she has just started working at Glenrock for the 2016-2017 school year, her determination to make this year funding successful for all students has really shown. Miss Yancey has introduced a website called freerice.com to her students. On this website, you are given a vocabulary word and a list of possible synonyms for the word. If you match the correct words, 10 grains of rice is donated to children in the World Hunger Program. It was a fun activity to get students engaged right from the get-go, and also it really actually helped with my vocabulary. So many of the words were on the SATs and um, able to be integrated into everyday life. Freshman Jack Dubay and Anna Rasmussen answered questions I had about Miss Yancey. My favorite thing about Miss Yancey is her passion for teaching and how much she cares about each student individually. So how is Miss Yancey different from other English teachers I've had? Well, in the past, English teachers they're not, a, they're not as understanding as Miss Yancey. Miss Yancey really understands. To finish off my questions, I asked, is Miss Yancey your favorite teacher? Yeah, Miss Yancey is definitely my favorite teacher. 
Yes. Good luck to Miss Yancey this school year and years come. I think Glenark High School chose a great new teacher. All the students wish you the best, Miss Yancey. Don't forget to watch this year's musical, The Addams Family. The show opens February 9th. The cast would love to see a huge audience. Well, that's the end of our show today. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Under, Under the, the Rock. Rock.